375. Or like the OGs would say, 375. I probably got several uncles who would say 375 instead of, you know, that that V just became an M, you know? Even Kevin, it was always Kevin. That's K E M apostrophe M. Kevin. Give me what I want, give me what I want, yeah. Give me what I want, give me, give me what I want. Give me what I want, give me what I want, what I need. This is Kevin's Cravings, where I indulge in delicious, warm, hearty, belly filling comfort foods. Thank you for tuning in. If it's your first time here and you enjoy the vibe, be sure to subscribe. Give this video a like, click the notifications bell, talk to me in the comments. So guys, today I took a trip down to the LES, the Lower East Side. One of the, one of the coolest places in the city where, where no one, everyone is just unbothered and, and no one has time. They are in their own zone, child. They're unbothered on the LES. So I came across this place on Instagram and just the visuals in the Instagram page are, just, are extremely appetizing. Just so appetizing. Everything I looked at, I'm like, wow, you know? The place I went to is called 375 Chicken and Fries. 375 Chicken and Fries. They were founded back in 2015 on the Lower East Side and they loved the concept of fast food. However, not the fillers and the additives and the hormones and the antibiotics, etc., etc. So they came up with this fast food concept, but everything is fresh. Fresh chicken, you know, cage free, hormone free, and I love that concept. They take great pride, so much to the point they named their restaurant after 375, frying their chicken at 375 degrees for optimal crispiness. Yes. They also take pride in the fact that every item is made to order, and I quote every single one. Yes, it's, it's, a, it's a period. It's a period in between every in single and then one. And when it's a period and a sentence after every word, they're trying to convey a message to you. And so it's best to say that sentence out loud so that you can get the message even more and make sure you pause in between every period so you can just, mm hmm I appreciate restaurants like 375 Chicken and Fries that invest in atmosphere you know you go inside and there's just it's a vibe you know it's, it's just its own vibe and there's hip-hop music playing and there are these fun signs on the wall and it's just it's just cool and, and hip and it's it's cohesive with what they're selling so the menu the overwhelming menu you look at it there was so much that I wanted to order but there were three things that I got today the buffalo honey chicken sandwich it comes on a potato roll with buttermilk fried chicken, buffalo honey glaze, cheddar cheese, sriracha mayo, and they got the nerve, they had the nerve to put some hot Cheetos on there. They put hot che- Yeah, the buffalo honey glaze adds the sweetness that you need. I kinda almost wish that there were more buffalo honey glaze because it was so delicious. It added just enough sweetness to everything that was taking place, which was mostly spicy and savory situations. I want to say that the chicken breast, it was cooked beautifully. It was beautifully cooked. It was beautifully crisp. It was so well seasoned, not overly or under. It was just perfect. It had a good crispy bite to it. That crispy bite, it was perfection. It truly was fried to perfection and I appreciate some good, well-fried chicken. Next, I got the Ludlow Loaded Fries. The Ludlow Fries is like their best seller and like, it's located, 375 is located on Ludlow Street so you can't go to 375 and not get the Ludlow Fries. I would've kinda felt like, you know, it was like defeating the purpose a little bit. These fries are triple cooked. Have you ever in your life? That's effort. They came with cheddar sauce, bacon sriracha mayo, chipotle mayo, jalapeno, and fried onions. The fries were amazing. You loaded fries and you have all these different flavors and spices going on. You get the spicy, you get the pickled, the pickledness from the jalapenos. It was delicious. My only thing that I would say is that the fries themselves needed some finishing salt after coming out of the oil, just a little finishing salt. But other than that, I love the fries. Everything on the fries, every topping played a part. They have this, a short menu called the chicken pop. 
menu. It's basically popcorn chicken. I got the barbecue popcorn chicken. It comes drizzled with ranch sauce. And listen, barbecue sauce, it's not always done right. Three things I need my barbecue sauce to be sweet, thick, and sticky. This popcorn chicken, the barbecue sauce on this popcorn chicken, it, it, it was all that. It was all that, you know? It was nice and crunchy. The chicken was tender still. It wasn't like overly fried. Sometimes I've, I've eaten a lot of popcorn chicken where it, it tastes just like a fried particle and you barely taste the chicken. Like this, you got the bite-sized bites of chicken. You know the chicken was there. It was drenched in that barbecue sauce and then topped off with the ranch. It was delicious. While I was eating, the owner's wife, she came out and she started talking to me, lovely Asian woman, and she was so sweet, and I told her that I found them on Instagram, and I really enjoyed the food, and she was so sweet. And uh, she thanked me for coming by. It was just an overall nice experience. 375, chicken and fries, Lower East Side. Hey, you know, I mean, it's, it's a good vibe. I really enjoyed it. And yeah, I mean, I plan to go again. If you're in New York City, go on down to the Lower East Side and check them out. I, I appreciate you being here. You know, c come on by again. Don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment, click the notifications bell so that every time I upload a video, YouTube informs you. Thank y'all so much and I will see y'all next time.